Hi, my name is Sam, and today I'll be showing you how to add custom songs to be played on Paradiddle's Note Highway. Converting songs to work in Paradiddle can be easily done with just a few pieces of free software. First, we'll need the Paradiddle Song Creator. This is a program we made to easily convert songs to work with Paradiddle. But you'll need more than just a song file to get started. Your chosen song will need at least two audio files. One without the drums, and one with just the drums. These can sometimes be found easily by searching for the song title with stems or drumless at the end. But oftentimes, this is not the case. If you cannot find the required tracks, there are some online tools that can help. Simply upload the original song, and the website will use AI to split the song into individual tracks for each instrument. The results are not always perfect, but for our purposes, it should be good enough. We will also need the album cover art, or any photo we want to add to the song. This is not required, but it greatly improves organization if we have multiple custom songs. Next, we'll need a MIDI track of the drums. Again, you can often find these by searching for the name of the song with MIDI drums at the end. But if you can't find one, you'll need to make it yourself. We will cover exactly how to map a drum track in a future video. So stay subscribed if you'd like to see that. For the purpose of this video, let's assume you found a MIDI track for your song. Let's put all our files into one folder with the song's name. Here I have the song Virtual Pulse by L. Neeks. Paradiddle supports .mp3, .wav, and .ogg files, but .ogg files work best to reduce the load and improve latency. You can convert any file to a .ogg by using a free program called Audacity. First open Audacity and drag and drop your audio file onto the timeline. Next, hit File, Export, and Export as .ogg, and select your song folder. You will need to do this process separately for both audio files. Now, let's open the Paradiddle Song Creator and get started formatting our song. The first page is the MIDI page. Here we can choose our MIDI file. Underneath that, you can choose the format of the file. There are three choices for standard MIDI maps, rock band style maps, and guitar hero style maps. These files change what note corresponds to which drum in Paradiddle during the song conversion process. You can change the note by opening the file in a plain text editor like Notepad. For my case, I'll use the standard MIDI map, but your map may be different. More than likely, your file will use the standard MIDI map. You may need to manually edit your file to correspond with the map file. Next, let's choose our difficulty. As you can see, I have two separate files for difficulty. Some files have multiple instruments on different tracks. If your file has multiple tracks, use the top drop-down menu to choose the drum track. Next, choose your difficulty on the bottom drop-down menu. Some files will contain all difficulties on the same drum track. In my case, I'm going to choose Easy to correspond with my MIDI track. At the bottom of the screen, there are advanced settings for accent and ghost notes. We will go into further detail on these settings in a future video. So for now, keep them unchecked, unless the creator of the MIDI track has information on it. Now let's click the drum set menu at the top left of the window. Here you can choose a custom drum kit for the song in Paradiddle. If you'd like to select a custom drum kit, you can find your saved kits under Documents, Paradiddle, Drum Layouts. You can also leave this setting alone if you'd like to use the default kit. I'm going to use a custom kit that I made for this song. Now let's click on the Audio Tracks tab. Here we will add our music tracks. On the left we can add our drumless track. And on the right we can add our drums only track. Finally on the last tab we will add the metadata for your song. This will include the song's title, artist name, author name, which should be your name, and the cover image if you have one. Select your song complexity on a rating of 1 through 5. This is a separate choice from the difficulty that tells the user how hard the song is to play in general, 1 being the easiest and 5 being the hardest. You can also add a description for the song if needed. Finally, let's hit the button at the bottom right to choose our output folder. On PC, this should be in Documents, Paradiddle, Songs. Next we can hit convert to .rlrr on the bottom left. If you have multiple difficulties, go back to the MIDI tab and choose a different difficulty. Then hit convert to RLRR again for every difficulty you have. 
On Quest, you'll first need to output the song wherever you like. I will output mine to my Note Highway folder. Remember to output all difficulties before moving on to the next step. Next, connect your Quest to your PC and select Allow when given the prompt. Finally, copy and paste your song folder to SD card, Paradiddle, Songs. Your song is now ready to be played inside of Paradiddle. Once you get set up in Paradiddle, open the menu and pick the Songs tab. Then, switch to the Custom Songs folder on the left. Here you can see any custom songs you have added to Paradiddle. After choosing your song and difficulty, the selected drum kit will spawn in front of you. You can adjust the height of the drums by using the thumbstick. Once you're ready to go, hit the big button on the highway to start the song. There are a few more details on the custom song guide on the Paradiddle website that more advanced users might need. The website will continue to be updated if there are any changes made to the Paradiddle song creator. All relevant links can be found in the description of this video. If this video is helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, spread the word, and leave a comment on what topic you think we should cover next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.